how he gets on. Last one's going forward. Here's Mike. Time winner. Caitlin's lad, the last one in for the second division of the Joint Racing TV Now Handicap. Underway and away they go. Requerdeme was the slowest to begin. Covert Mission was the quickest to start. He moved uh, quite quickly out of that outside stall there. Also right up with the pace and going on now is Pink Jazz. And the pace looks a pretty strong one. Covert Mission coming across to settle in second with Study the Stars on the inside in third place next. And these are just ahead of in fourth spot, Air of York in the yellow and black colours, the cheap piece uh, runner. Assembled in amongst the leading five or six as well. Maber is on the rail, the dark blue with the white colours. And right behind uh, that one on the inside there is Kalin's Lad, who's held up by Andrew Mullen in the middle of the field. Behind that on the outside is Simulation Theory as they take the turn over on the far side, which brings them down towards the halfway point. Calon is out towards the back in the red and blue colours, just trapped there by Bounty Pursuit in the pink and Requerdeme on the rail behind him. And they move down towards the entrance to the home straight. Three furlongs left to cover. Pink Jazz and Grace McEntee out in front then is in, and leads them down towards the judge. From in second, covert mission. Danny Musket poised to pounce, you'd have to say. Study the stars on the inner is third. Maber shaken up with Air of York. Behind this one is Kaylin's lad, Andrew Munnan looking for a bit of a of room through there. Requerdeme is trying to stay on from the back, assembled the grey, making heavy weather of it. And so too is Calon, who's not really picked up, but he's trying. But Covert Mission may have slipped the field here. Uh, once he pressed the button there, Danny Musket, it was a pretty good response. Maber is after him in second place, two lengths down to make up. Covert Mission is all out then to hang on here. And Covert Mission justifies a bit of a gamble from Maber in second, running on for third, Kaylin's lad. And Close up fourth, they staying on Calon. Well, pace, position, and probably form are the key here. And covert mission slid across from stall 11. Good effort that from, from Danny Musket. They're making it two out of four on this Kevin DeFoy horse. He didn't get an absolute solo up in front, though. He was attended to, wasn't he? And they went quite hard, it looked like through the first couple of furlongs and then things settled down. Uh, Maber, who was well positioned in the market, has bounced back to form. Third run back off a break. It, it looks like he's just getting sharper and fitter and, and maybe nearing the boil. He's a very well handicapped horse, uh, Maber. Uh, his last three wins off marks eight, 14 and 17 pounds higher than this. So Maber might just be sending a serving notice that he's he's ready to capitalise on that handicap mark. Good run from Kalen's lad, a bit like Cologne, just not quite the, the pace needed to close the gap. Cologne, I was slow motion stuff, wasn't it? He's he's probably come from furthest back of the first four home, Cologne. So maybe, maybe, maybe he's run slightly better than his position but you might be talking about by half a length a length tops i think the truth is he lacked the gears to close in on them even if he was mildly inconvenienced by being further back i, I wouldn't over egg the pood regarding that he just didn't quite look uh, quick enough but he's run encouragingly suggesting he'll pay his way in the the short term front four clear of anything else he was a short price i thought too short but covert mission does it again yeah, and a good ride that I think from Danny Musket to the bull by the horns, all in the prominent position, and has done that fairly well in the end, hasn't he, Danny? A good performance that from Covert Mission, who's improving hand over fist up the handicap and broke well to get that position from stall 11, but a pretty good performance that, all in all, guys. Yeah, I think it was a very good performance, and I think you can mark it up slightly because from stall 11, it's hard to get across and get a prominent position from that kind of stall. And mm like they've just touched upon, didn't get an easy time of it out in front of a horse that does like to be ridden prominently, but he shows a really game win latitude, you can see there, and he just held on, and he's a horse that is still early days with this stable, but they've clearly found the key to him, and hopefully they'll be having plenty more fun with him on the all-weather. Yeah, you'd hope so, and George, I, I thought he might be a little bit vulnerable about half a furlong to go, but he stuck his neck out pretty gamely. Yeah, 